Never Stop Learning, week 267. We're going to take a quick look at how to create a 3D beach ball in Adobe Illustrator CC 2015. All right, so this is a really fun exercise, and it's actually based off of a tutorial that I read several years ago. Let's see, it was written as part of the Mac House blog uh, back in July 2007. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a link in the description so you can come check it out. And then make sure you go over here to the bottom where it says leave a reply. Leave them a message telling them thank you for creating such a fun exercise. All right, so I'm going to hide this guy real quick. Now, the reason I like it so much is it's going to show us how to use symbols and the 3D effect in a different way, maybe in a way you wouldn't have thought of in the past. All right, so first thing I want to do is uh, create the colors for my beach ball. So I'm going to hit the M key on my keyboard, click and drag to draw a basic rectangle. Now, if you're worried about the size, don't worry about that because we'll take care of the size later on once we apply the 3D effect. What I want to do is make changes to the appearance of this guy. So I'm going to hit the forward slash to get rid of the fill. Then I'm going to hit shift X so I could swap out the fill and the stroke. So now I'm left with a black fill and no stroke. All right, instead of a black fill, I'm going to hit the comma key on my keyboard so I could change the color. Now, in my workflow, I usually have the swatches panel docked with the color panel. So I'm able to find my swatches really quickly. All right, cool. So I'm going to go with red for this guy. Now, this is the first color, and I want them all to be the same size. So I'm just going to make copies of this. Um, now, I need six different shapes here. So I'm going to hit the V key on my keyboard. That's going to activate the uh, selection tool. Now I'm going to hover over my selection. Now I'm going to hold down the Option key or Alt on a PC. Notice I have a double-headed uh, cursor going on there. So I'm going to click and drag. Now I'm going to hold down the Shift key as well. I haven't released the mouse yet, but what I want to do with the Shift key is it's going to keep things nice and straight for me. I also have my Smart Guides turned on and that's helping me out. So hit Command U to turn those guys on or Control U to turn them on. All I want to do is bring it over here to the edge so I don't have a gap. And then I'm going to release the mouse first, then the modifiers, and then I'm left with my two shapes. All right, so I want six. I have two right now. So I could duplicate that transformation I just created. What I mean by that is we just uh, moved it and made a copy of a shape. So Illustrator is going to recognize that as a transformation. And it has it stored, and all I have to do is hit Command D, and it's going to duplicate that uh, transformation for me. So now I got three shapes, right? So Command D again. Now I have four five, and six. So great, I got my six shapes here, and now it's time to colorize these guys. Over here on the left, I'm gonna select this guy, and uh, I'm gonna change it over to orange. Move over to the next one. Here I'm gonna go with yellow. The next one is gonna be green. The one that follows will be blue. And then the last one, it could be whatever you want, but I'm gonna go with purple. All right, this looks cool. Now I'm going to hit the M key on my keyboard because I want another rectangle going along the top. Notice the smart guys are going to help me out again. Cool. So I come to the edge, click and drag, bring this guy down over here. And I want to make sure that I don't have a gap there. There we go. Cool. Now release. Now this is pretty big. So I need to transform this guy a little bit. I need to just scale it down. Now in older versions of Illustrator, you'd have to switch over to the selection tool so you could uh, get this uh, transformation box. But what I want to do is with the same shape, I'm just going to hover over it, click and drag, and that's a new feature for the Creative Cloud. All right, so right around there looks pretty good to me. I'm going to go with red. And now I want to grab all these guys and turn them into a symbol. Now, if you don't know where the symbols panel is, just go into the window menu, scroll down until you find symbols. Click on that once, and that's going to bring up the Symbols panel for you. Now, I got rid of all the default ones. All you have to do is select them, and then you have this little trash can here. You can click on that, and it'll get rid of them for you. All right, cool. So I'm going to hit the V key on my keyboard to grab the Selection tool. Click and drag to grab all my objects. Make sure you don't leave anybody behind. Then just click and drag to drop them off over here in the Symbols panel. Notice I have this uh, plus symbol. All right, that lets me know I'm good to go. I'll release my mouse. Then I get the symbols option. Over here at the top, we're able to name this guy and I wanna make sure you guys name it because that's gonna keep things nice and organized for you. All right, so I'm gonna go with ball color. Next for export type, I tend to leave it set to movie clip just in case I ever wanna animate this guy. Symbols type, um, I'm in a new version of Illustrator so I could uh, use dynamic symbol. Uh, if you don't have access to this feature, don't worry about it. 
Everything else, I'm just, I'm just gonna leave it as is. I'm not gonna enable uh, guides for nine slice scaling. And I don't want to align to pixel grid, not this time anyway. I'm gonna click okay. And that creates a new symbol for me over here in the symbols panel. So that means we could get rid of this guy. I'm gonna hit delete. Now we just got rid of all that work we did. Actually we didn't, it's over here in the symbols panel. <laughs> All right, so I want to create the shape uh, of our beach ball. All right, so I'm going to hit the L key on my keyboard, click and drag to draw out a shape. Notice I got these annotations helping me out, so I can draw out a nice uh, perfect circle here. Go ahead and release, and I can reshape it using the same tool. That's a Creative Cloud feature there. Uh, in the Creative Cloud, you could also split this guy up, which will work for us in this situation. So I'm going to click and drag, bring this guy down. Then I'm going to come over here, click and drag, bring this guy up. And once I get it nice and straight, I'll release. So this is basically all I want. I just want half of a circle. All right, and this will work out fine for us, but if you're not in the Creative Cloud, I wanna show you another way to work. So I'm gonna undo that. All right, if you're not in the Creative Cloud and you're using an older version of Illustrator, what you wanna do is hit the C key on your keyboard. It's gonna activate the scissor tool for you. Come over here to the 12 o'clock position, click on that anchor point, then come down to the six o'clock position and click on that anchor point. Now we're left with two halves. So let's get rid of whichever one you want. I'm gonna hit the V key on my keyboard, get rid of this guy on the left. All right, now I have this shape over here on the right. Really, it doesn't matter, uh, but I'm gonna go with this for now. All right, I want a white shape. So I'm gonna hit the comma key on my keyboard, just go for white, tuck this guy away. All right, so bring this guy over, jump into the effect menu, find 3D, and I wanna choose Revolve. All right, click on that once, and then you get your 3D Revolve options. All right, notice nothing's really happening over here on the artboard. What you wanna do is come to the bottom of your 3D Revolve options and click on Preview. All right, Illustrator has this unchecked by default, just in case your computer can't handle it, that way you don't have a accidental crash. All right, so I'm gonna turn mine on, and then we get this awesome sphere here. All right, so that's a great shape for my uh, beach ball, but we wanna add the colors to this. So we could do it in here in the 3D Revolve options. Down here at the bottom, we have Map Art. Click on that once, and that's gonna bring up the Map Art window. And over here at the top, it says Symbol. Click on the drop-down menu and choose Ball Color. That's the one we created. And this is why I was saying, don't worry about the size of this just yet. Uh, over here, you could scale this however you want. But then down over here in the bottom left, we have this really cool button that says scale to fit. So I'm just gonna click on that. And that's gonna bring everything out to the right size for me. All right, I'm gonna click okay. And then uh, we're back to the 3D revolve options. So this is where you wanna uh, position your ball exactly how you want. So this is the power of using the 3D revolve options. You could actually just turn this guy around. You don't have to redraw a ball for every single uh, pose that you wanna create for this guy. All right, so as I spin this around, I'm gonna come over to the other side. And then I notice that uh, I'm not really too happy with how these colors kind of come together. I think in a real beach ball, it might have like a little white circle over here. So I'm gonna click okay and show you how to update your, uh, your symbol. So back over here in the symbols panel, click on it to activate it. Now double click on your symbol, all right? That's gonna bring you into this like symbol edit mode. Notice this gray bar over here at the top. All right, cool, it's kind of like isolation mode. All right, cool, with my selection tool, I'm gonna grab this guy over here at the top, option or alt, click and drag, holding down shift, to bring it down to the bottom, make sure there's no gap over here. What I wanna do is bring this guy to half the size, so click and drag, smart guides are helping me out there, there we go. Now I'm gonna change this color to white, so I hit the comma key, go for white, get rid of this panel, all right, this looks great. Now to get out of this edit symbol mode, it's really easy. All you have to do is double click on your artboard and there you go, you're set. Notice my artwork has already been updated for me. So you can continue to edit this a lot further, but I'm just gonna go with the basic shapes from now. All right, what happens if you already set this guy up, your client sees it, they love it, but they wanna repose the ball, all right? So instead of having to redraw this guy, just select your artwork jump into the appearance panel. Over here it says 3D Revolve. Click on that link and it's gonna bring up your 3D Revolve options for you. Remember down over here at the bottom you have to turn on the preview. And then just go ahead and make whatever changes you want. Use this widget, spin this guy around. It's pretty cool, right? I like this ring. 
click and drag over here to see the different surfaces. Over here at the top, you have a couple presets you could use. Front axis, um, let's see, bottom axis, there you go. Play around with the different um, presets that you have set up here. But what I like to do is I like to hover over these guys. So this is actually the X axis, Y axis, and Z axis. I'll hover over this value and use my scroll wheel to kind of reposition it. I just really like how that looks. It seems to just adjust in a fun way for me. <laughs> it's more intuitive. I dig it. All right, so once I got this guy set up exactly how I want, I'm going to click OK. And you could always resize this without a problem because remember, this is all vectors. And when I deselect, you get a better look at this. So there you have it, folks. That's a quick look. I had to create a 3D beach ball in Adobe Illustrator CC 2015.